I have a surprise for you guys in terms of the dress. In three, two, one. guys welcome back to another day of my vlog i'm doing another look recreation today and today is stella hadid i hope you enjoyed the last episode when i say last episode i mean to say the last episode of my last month's vlog where we uh, recreated kim kardashian's three looks and i hope you really did try to recreate them samin is with us you guys know samin from our last look recreation this is the look i'm aiming for red you know you can literally wear it wherever but for now let's focus on the face uh, we'll be doing a highlighted look and foxy eyes so you're going to try and get as close to it as we can so i'll see you guys in a bit i'm excited for the red lips and the red dress and the red shoes let's go so guys we're starting with the eyes for the eye concealer she used the l'oreal uh, infallible and we are going to use huda beauty's eyeshadow palette and morphe's eyeshadow palette mixed together and the brown strong that I'm not opening my eyes because right after you put your concealer before you set it you don't want to open your eyes to avoid creases. So yeah. So this is the Huda Beauty's textured shadows palette. So this is one of the palettes and then this is the Morphe palette that we're going to mix the browns of that and we're going to use it for the eyes. <laughs> Step one complete, you guys. Eyes done. So we're moving on to step two, which was basically the concealer and the foundation. So guys, step two for the concealer and foundation. Both we used Nars. So the concealer was a darker shade Cadiz from Nars and for foundation we are using the shade Punjab. So what we usually do is for our base we kind of do spot concealing, dab it with your sponge and then go on with a lighter shade foundation. Like for example for my texture on a day-to-day -day basis I would use a Nars Cadiz but for today since I went in with a darker concealer which was Cadiz yeah, and we went in with a lighter foundation today for this look because if you see her look is like so highlighted and so that's that once we go in with the foundation we move on to step three so for step three i have included our contour right after that will be our blush and then lighter concealer to highlight the eye area and your lower cheekbone area we are using Kryolin's Dharma color concealer in the shade d 16 16 on the high bone areas and usually you can use a brush if it is a cream product. If it's a liquid, you can go in with the product yourself. You can use a sponge and just blend in. For today's blush, we are again using NARS liquid blush in the shade Torrid. So you know, back in the day, we used to use like blushes from here and look like a solid monkey. Please don't do that to yourself. Like literally start it from half your cheek and then go towards the same direction you did for your contour. It adds all the difference. So after the blush, we are moving on with the lighter concealer to highlight the- Lift under eyes. Under eye, a tad bit. Please always remember, less is more when it Low comes to makeup. Lower of your contour. Just below the contour to highlight that area and, and a little bit on the forehead and the chin. So we are using ColourPop concealer for- It's a hydrating one. This is a hydrating concealer, whatever she said. Okay guys, so to end step three, what we did is used a loose powder to set the same Any places. Any loose powder, you can use a yellow you or a white tone. You can use a yellow or a white tone. This one is Charlotte. No, no, this is from Verified. The this same you get verified. in Charlotte. And you get it in yellow as well as in white. We use the white today to set the areas where we had the lighter concealer. But with on that note, moving on to step number four. So this one is also from Essence, the bronzer we're using today. So it's the same areas basically where you had your contour placed. You go over. Um, Just lightly brush over the color. Before you apply the loose powder, go in with the setting spray and then set the loose powder around the areas you used to highlight with the light concealer. As soon as that's done, you move on to the bronzer. So after this bronzer, we'll do our eyebrows. Uh, what are we using today for our eyebrows? Oh, Anastasia's dark brown. This is one of the most highly recommended product for from your my eyebrows. Kids. 
absolutely it runs you what two years almost yeah. on a regular basis and so, you just need a tiny bit of yeah. it and the finish is so natural step four i have also included our highlighter so right after we finish with the eyebrows we will kind of use a blush again right a powder blush to make the cheeks a little more fuller so for the powder blush today she's actually mixing two products a peach tone and a pink tone and the pink tone is from mac and the peach ones are from revlon so we're mixing both for the powder blush we are going to move on to highlighter after this as far as i know samin the balm cosmetics highlighter the first two all right Okay guys, as you can see it's challenging to knock oil. I'm getting a list now and I'm going to try my best. <laughs> uh, so we are using MAC Diva, Diva shade for our lipstick today. On that note, do you guys want to hear a joke? So you know there was this one time I used to work for Vodafone for about four to five months until I got really bored because the office was very far away. Whitefield, if you guys are Bangaloreans, you'll know. So you know, I had a friend there, a colleague. So she spent about six days with me, and on the seventh day, I found her like she was very captivated by my face. And then after spending six days with me on the sixth day, she just looks at me and she goes, "Bro, I get it now. It's your lips." And I'm like, "What do you mean?" She was like, "All these guys, it's your lips." That is when I realized a lot of guys are stripping on me. Tada! We did the whole look in 45 minutes. Not bad, right? We are finishing it off with a setting spray. And then we're moving on to hair, you guys. See you in a bit. I hope you like all this structured directions that were shared today. And what setting spray? I like the way she's. This is the only to shut me off. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's from CS Essentials. There it is. Whatever she said. Moving on to hair. That's step five. So we are doing braids, and I don't have braids right now. So I'm going to use extensions. This one is only 1800 rupees. Natural hair. We're going to do a top bun, neatly combing the hair back, right? So I mean. So we are combing out the hair behind using a bit of hairspray to tame the frizz. Are we going to make like a top pony first? Yeah, we first? are going up for a top pony. All right, all together. Okay, so what we are doing to control the frizz a little more is using gel, more sleeker bun. Yes, because we want it like to be neat. We don't want baby hair flying around. Any strong hold gel. Which one are you using? Set with this is strong hold one. So the next step is we're going to secure it with bands and twist them. Just make two halves of it, and then we'll twist them around and we'll make a small bun out of it and secure those with U clips and bobby pins. Right, guys, we're gonna secure okay, the. So we have a clip here that goes right in here, and you just need to clip it. So the hair that she had with the dress was basically this. If you see, she has bangs, but it's like little towards the side. So we're gonna try to create the same thing. Ta-da! We are done with hair and makeup. But wait, I have been telling you guys that I have a surprise. So the surprise is, you know, this dress. I always like to go as close as I can, and there is no other brand than Miss Momo who can make this. So I literally had my guy in the factory make it for me in six hours. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Tell me how close I got. And if you like it, I might just sell it. Guys, this is so cute. I'm really so happy I did this. So this is her with all the same dress I'm here. The shoes, I'll tell you what happened to the shoes. I know the shoes are supposed to be red and that was another surprise. It's 8.35 and maybe my shoes are gonna come in a bit, but until then, let me show you the jewelry I'm pairing. So what she's wearing is like a little dropped diamond, but I'm going in for what I have actually. It's not like I have a lot of diamonds in my closet, but I'm gonna manage it, whatever I have. I feel like this was gonna be so appropriate for this. And for the earring, I chose rubies which are red and I'm going to show you guys in a bit. So this is how it looks like. So I think it goes with the dress, does it though? Because I think the color is a little different, but that's okay. I bought this beautiful pair of uh, Christian Louboutin pump heels. So they're supposed to arrive at 2 p.m., but they're now saying 9 p.m., so I'm going to wait. But in the meantime, what do you think about the pairing of 
I think it's just perfect, isn't it? A little change, a little Renima in the whole Bella Hadid look, you know? And I didn't know my nails were matching too. Oh my God, I have to, so I'm gonna put my wedding ring back, which is just, a, I'm just gonna one wire single diamond here, but we are ready. All right guys, bad news, the shoes haven't arrived and I'm not gonna delay this anymore. So I'm just literally pairing it up with nude Zara heels, but the shoes are gonna come. So I'm gonna wear and post a picture for you guys here, okay? So that you guys have a full look. But until then, I had so much fun recreating the second look with you all. I want to keep coming up with more. Please like, share, subscribe, you guys. I'm going to see you guys soon for another vlog. Take care. Please, please, please be nice to each other. See ya.